Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your weekend reading. This is going to be for, guess what day, guys? August motherfucking 14th, and that is my what? Birthday. So August 14th through the 16th. Yay, it's my birthday, guys. So we have about an hour and some change before my birthday. So let's just take a moment and say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Yay, it is my birthday. I cannot wait for tomorrow. I'm super excited, guys. I don't even know why I'm super excited. I mean, it's my birthday. It's Leo season. So, yes, I'm loving it. Um... I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the birthday love, the birthday wishes, the birthday gifts, the emails, the gift cards, everything. Every day when I, well not every day, but when I go check my P.O. box and I'm doing drop ship, they're like, oh, you got all these packages and letters at the front. And I'm just like, mwah, 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 mwah. thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. You guys are super amazing okay i couldn't ask for better subscribers i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys i actually looked at my subscriber count and i was like dang ash look at you so i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to the family um i forgot when i did the live the other day someone was like ashley why didn't you unbox your 100k plaque with us so i do apologize i'm sorry i love you guys um but i mean you guys know i don't have my count out there but I do have over 100K. I'm actually really blessed with the subscriber count that I have. So I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and the support. Thanks for all my ride and, die, ride and dies. Um, the ones that have been with me since like day one. You know, so I love you guys. I love you guys. All right, so let's hop in and let's see what's coming in for the weekend. Um, do me a favor, guys. Do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell, okay? Oh my gosh, my hair is looking crazy. I have to wand it because, I mean, I can't go into my birthday season looking crazy. Right? Right. All right. So, let's hop into this reading, guys. Let it be great. Let it be great. Um, Because it's my birthday weekend. I mean, it's going to be great. I hope I hope the weekend is going to be amazing for all of you guys. All righty. Um, so, yeah, let's hop in. I'll be gone for the weekend. I'll be in Dallas and in um, Louisiana. I mean, I know I can't do much, but I just want to get out of Katy, Texas. You know, I want to do something different. So, let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see what's coming in for the weekend for the collective. Now, this is general, okay? Um, only take what resonates with you. Never force it to fit, guys. Alrighty? So, let's see what's coming in for the weekend. Messages for the weekend. What's coming in for the weekend for the collective August 14th through the 16th? Alright, let's see. All right, a lot is going on. I feel like, all right, let me just lay three cards down. Let me see. Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, okay? So I'm loving this, okay? Um, six of Wands reverse. This can be you guys getting a lot of attention, okay? Or the Six of Wands in reverse for the overall energy. Let's just see how the reading plays out. It can be, um, like I said, some of you guys getting a lot of attention are... You guys feel like something's going to fail or not work out or go in your favor. You guys can be like kind of like doubting something. But we have the Ace of Wands here, Eight of Pentacles. Things are going to work out. Something's going to work out. Something's going to happen. Okay, Ace of Wands. This is someone putting a lot of energy into something. This is also a new beginning, a new passionate beginning, a new fiery passionate beginning with the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, I feel like there's something that you've been working towards, working on. Because you're looking at these Eight of Pentacles, okay? She's staring down at the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Wands. So, it's like you're standing your ground. You're getting something that you want. Challenging, your challenges and obstacles are over. Something is done with. It's like you got your wand up. That's the Eight of Wands. And it's like whatever was bothering you or stopping you or in your way, it's no longer in your way. I feel like there is... Because when I use this deck, this was like the... This is the first deck I ever used that I was able to connect to. Okay, this is the Cosmic Tarot. This is the first deck I ever used. Okay, ever used. Not this deck. I have like three of these. My the original decks, the my deck that I used when I first started Tarot on the channel is back there. I just don't use it no more because it's like really special to me now. But um This was like the first deck I was ever able to connect to. And when I use this deck, 
um, I just get like a lot of like, how can I say it? There's someone that is around you guys that's clearing um, and removing blockages and obstacles and challenges from your life. Okay. Um, someone is definitely with, definitely with you. See how the Ace of Wands, how there's water at the bottom, things are rocking and shaky down there. It's like someone is helping you get out of a situation. Um, and I feel like it's like a spirit guide, an ancestor, an angel. It's someone that is connected to you in some type of way. But let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. What's with the Seven of Wands? Why is the Seven of Wands? Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Yep, see? So something is happening for you. You have a new beginning here. Um, five of Swords. It was hard. Come. It was So it was really challenging. Ten of Swords. See? Someone wanted to see you fail or someone was... Someone wanted to see you fail or you guys were just like your worst enemy. Like you guys were just thinking really bad, thinking really negative. But it's like, and you wanted something really bad, but now the time has come. You fought for it. You were determined. You earned it. You worked for it. You deserved it. But I feel like someone is like helping you guys get out of like an old energy or a past energy. I feel like you guys were stuck in an energy um, or just like in a really stagnant energy. Ace of Wands. There's someone that is around you guys that, are, that is helping you get out of this. And I don't feel like it's someone physically like next like a person you know i feel like it's a spirit an angel a spirit guide an ancestor it's something like that someone's helping you guys get through something why is this ace of wands here see the king of cups this will be a this is someone that you're connected to like someone that's dear to your heart it can be like a mother a grandmother it can be like um a sibling someone that could have passed over i don't know why i'm getting that but um yeah they're helping they're they're taking action towards your wants needs and desires is what i'm getting okay so i feel like with the knight of cups in reverse um it's saying like don't jump to conclusions don't feel like something is over don't think that something's not going to work out it's all going to come in three of wands this is something moving forward for you and your ship's coming in i feel like this is this is like a lot of general energy so i'm just going to look at this as general energy and then i'll just pull another spread so let's see what this is about i want to pull a um a message here let's see because i feel like this is general energy what is the message for this? What's the overall energy for this, this message? You guys have something really great coming towards you. They want you to keep your cup full with that king of cups. Whoever's around you, they want you to keep loving yourself. They want you to keep filling up your cup. Keep doing the things that make you happy. Keep doing it. Like, whatever you do, do it with love. Do it with emotions. You know what I'm saying? Um, and take action. Go after the things that you want. Stay passionate. Stay loving. Don't give up. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't think that something's not going to happen for you. You work really hard for it. You have this opportunity is coming in. There's no need for you to stand your ground, fight for it, prove yourself. No, don't. Someone wants to see you fail or, like I said, you are your worst enemy. Okay, because it went from the five to the ten of swords. But now the ten is over. So now you're out your head. Look, helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom it may be. Initiate contact. It could be someone from above. Okay, make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestations. Okay, for some of you guys, listen to music. That's what I'm saying. There's someone around you. Or there's someone that's helping you. Or you're around someone that's a healer. Or they're very magical. They have a like, really good energy. Um, let's see. Give me one more message. Let yourself receive. That's what I'm talking about. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Okay, so let yourself receive, guys. And that's what's about to happen. Um, give me one second. I'm about to pause it for one second, guys. I'll be right back. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clear this out and we're going to pull one more spread for love to see what's coming in for the weekend. So I really feel like this is general. Okay, give me one sec, guys. Alrighty, I am back, guys. So I wanted to pause it because I wanted to get the Oracle of the Seven Energies. This was actually a gift. Thank you, my love. You know who you are. Um, freaking beautiful. Love these. Pulled a couple on me. And they resonated. So I want to see what the overall energy is of this general message. I was really focused on love and then this general message came out. But I definitely feel like, um, you know, there's a message in here. So let's see. And then, like I said, what happens to the love portion? So let's see. What is the message? Let's see. 45 minutes to my birthday. Yay. Well, by the time I post it, it will already be August 14th. But let's see. What is the message? Broken open. Wow. Number 28. Roots of abundance. Number two. That's what I'm saying. Something magical. Something is definitely about to happen. And then 28 breaks down the 10. Two, 
35, I mean, 32 is five, 22, four, stability. So a lot of change, stability, abundance coming. Oh my goodness, look at the Ellie's. I love the elephants, look at them. And then healing in the heart, wow. See and beyond a tall tale. See, see and beyond a tall tale. Wish upon a star. So someone was trying to come between you. Someone was trying to like block your gifts, your intuition. Um, someone was trying to bring you down. They were trying to make you doubt yourself and not trust your higher self. Okay, so you're wishing upon a star that's coming true after a tall tale has been revealed or something like that. And then it says opening to, um, opening to discovery. Okay, and then look, endless possibilities is in reverse. I don't read reverse. I don't read oracle cards in reverse. But if I was to read this in reverse, someone was trying to block your endless possibilities. Because see, someone's seen your potential. They seen like what you have, your gifts and all that. Someone was trying to block it. And see, look, the oracle's gift. See, like you're very intuitive. You're very smart. Very clam uh, cl um, cl clairvoyant for some of you guys. Look, into me, I see. So you guys are going, like, so you guys are trusting your higher selves again. Your intuition is kicking back in. Your gifts are, everything is changing. So like, what the heck? Yeah, something happened, guys. Something was going on. So let's see, number 28. Let's see real quick. And then we'll hop into love. And it's, let's see. Because I know sometimes when I do general, y'all are like, where's the love portion? Y'all timestamp. But then I'm like, y'all want general messages. I love y'all. But sometimes I feel like I cannot ever be right. Because it's like, y'all are like, no, I want this. No, I want that. But I still love you guys. It's all love. Okay? So it says, the gift of grief being shattered as a result of loss. The potential. And then it says, inherent in, um, failure. Okay, let's see. Um... There are situations in life when you see the value of lost grief and a broken heart, yet it's not the pain or loss itself that must be the focus of your attention here. No, not even the story of what happened. The details surrounding what has brought you to your knees is an important, no, is as important as what results from the experience. Can you see that this situation has broken you wide open, enabling you to have an even greater capacity for love, compassion, empathy, and understanding. So what you guys went through, it's like someone tested you, put you through something, put something on you, did something to you. But they don't realize that whatever they did to you, it's making you a greater person, especially when it comes to love and opening up your heart. Someone broke you wide open, okay? And it it it, it hurt you so bad that it, it just, it broke you wide open. It's like you, you fell to the floor, like you were hurt. Everything you tried to do, there was no way out. You went two steps forward to only go back 10 steps. You couldn't find love. You didn't have friends. You didn't have happiness. You didn't have this. Everything was falling apart. Everything was shattering. But what they didn't realize is that by you going through this, it opened your heart space even more. And it taught you to be more thankful, more loving, more grateful like you're really appreciating everything that you guys went through. So I, I tell you guys all the time, like, you know, sometimes we have to take our broken pieces and, and build ourselves our own throne and start building our empire or just rebuilding ourselves on solid foundations. But in this case, you're getting all that plus the universe is blessing, blessing you with a greater capacity for love, compassion, empathy, and understanding. And because you went through this, are you experienced this or someone put you through this or put you on or put something on you or whatever. It's like you, you, you understand it and you get it now and your intuition, your gifts, everything is going to start kicking in. So you're going to know when this is energy is coming towards you. You're going to know like when, when the real partner or love or certain things are coming in for you, you're going to have, you know, compassion for the people who like let you down and hurt you. And it's not like you, it's not like you're feeling bad for them, but it's like, you're you just have compassion you're just like you know what i like i feel bad for that person so i'm just sending them love or giving them love you know it's stuff like that you know sending them love and light but if you're doing it and it's it's very genuine you're not doing it just about oh yeah i'm just sending them love and light they hurt me like you're doing it because it's like you're just like you're the person that really needs to help the healing and etc and you're getting that and understanding that now but someone put you through some shit or did something to you to make you go through this but it's making you a better person um it says you cannot be the same person as before. The only way forward is to move through it without resistance or manipulation, without attempting to bargain with unseen forces, because none of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again. What did I just tell you? None of your usual fallbacks can put you back together again, meaning that the universe is not going to make you go back to what you ever like there, whatever you experienced and went through the universe is not going to put you through that again. Okay, because you've, you, there's no falling back. 
it's, it's, it's you only moving forward. Okay? The, the gift is in accepting who you become as a... Let me see. This is really long. The gift is accepting as who you become. What situation? Wait, this difficult experience and allowing yourself to be more than you were. So it's saying this, the gift that you've been blessed with is accepting who you become and allowing yourself to be more than you were before. This wisdom comes at a high price, but the value of your experience of moving through and to the other side is, let me see, unsurpassed. Love the, love the you that is the result of being broken open by life's challenge and lesson. So yeah, you were broken open, something happened, but it's like, this is like a true blessing for you. And someone doesn't realize that and they're going to see it. So what goes around comes around and boy, oh boy, I bet you whoever did this, whatever happened, I know they're probably wishing they had not ever fucked with you, your energy or did whatever they did to you. Because now you about to be bad, you know? So it's like if you were getting attention before, people loved you before, people recognized you before, praised you before, if people felt some type of way about you before, I can only imagine how they're going to feel towards you now, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's focus on love. Let's see what we got for love. Let's see. All right, let's see. Who's coming towards the collective for the weekend in love? Who is coming towards a collective for the weekend in love? Who's coming towards a collective? Let's see who's coming towards a collective in love for the weekend. We have a few of wands, the nine of wands, the eight of swords. So some blessing in disguise. All right. Three of wands. You guys can be meeting someone new. We have a nine of wands, eight of swords. You guys are in some type of mental prison about something. Something's on your mind. Um, and it's the same with the nine of wands that it go. I love how the lion is behind the guy in the nine of wands. This is telling me that you're protected. Your energy is protected or you're needing to protect your energy and get out of some type of mental prison. Something is manifesting for you. The universe wants you to be happy this weekend. Okay. That queen of cups is there. So I want to see why the, um, nine of wands is here. When it comes to love for some of you guys, something is manifesting for you. Um, and love. So there was one, two, three. There's five wands here. These are four wands. This is you standing strong, stable. Okay. And the five of wands was the challenges, obstacles, disagreements. You guys not getting along. But all that's coming to an ending. You guys had your backs turned towards each other. Okay. For some of you guys are. You had your back turned on love. And now love is coming in. Eight of swords. The world card in reverse. So something isn't over between you and someone. With the world card in reverse, this was a repeated cycle between both you guys. You guys get, you guys kept going through this, okay? Um, with each other, let's see. Why is the world card in reverse? We have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands in reverse. For some of you guys, yeah, you guys were in a mental prison, but self love is is gonna help you release these burdens, okay? The Queen of Cups, loving yourself, self love, just caring for yourself. Like I told you guys, doing what makes you happy. It's helping you guys release burdens. There's also someone that's coming back around that you had on your mind for some time. And you didn't know where that relationship, that situation was going. And they're releasing their burdens. They're, they're doing something or releasing a lot of burdens um, to be with you. They feel like it's not over. They don't want it to be over. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Five of Cups. Someone is having regrets and missing you guys. And they want a new beginning. For some of you guys, this is your love life failing. You know, and just not working out. And it's like every time you meet someone, you think things are going to move forward. And then there's challenges. Something happens. Um, you guys agree to disagree. Maybe you guys are cut from different cloths. Maybe from different areas. You know, and you're just kind of giving up on love. But it's like with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. It's like love is coming in. But when you least expect it, Three of Wands, you've been manifesting it. So it's like, you know, like when you want love to come in, it's like it's on our mind so bad. We're like, well, I want love, I want love, I want love. And then it's like it never comes in. And then as soon as we, we forget about it and stop thinking about it and trying to manifest it and talk about it, it's like love pops in. And then it's like you meet someone. And then as soon as you meet someone, it's like all those people you wanted to be with or whoever you wanted to talk to, they're coming back like, oh, hey, are you single still? You know, like, are you in a relationship? Are you single? Let's hook up. But you guys have someone coming in. It's just you need to be open to receiving this new love. So let's do how the three of wands is here. The moon is in reverse. And the hermit. So someone's coming out of some type of sadness, some type of depression, okay? The star is here, yeah. 
So once you guys come out of some type of sadness or depression about love or about a partner or about someone in particular, then it's like something can manifest and turn around in this situation. All right. Let's see what this is about. Someone's really stressing out about a person, a relationship. And it's like, as soon as you guys let it go, it's like things can turn around and manifest with the star uh -oh, and the three of wands. Shit. Sorry, guys. With the star and the three of wands. Damn, all those cards fail. Yeah, see the retreat card. Like, you guys aren't together. You guys are separated. Or this is you separated from your future partner. You don't know this person yet. Because for some of you guys, you haven't met this person. But you're so sad and you're so depressed and you're giving up on love and you're thinking negative. And, you know, you just, you're, for some of you guys, it's like, I'm going to be honest. For some of you guys, um, for some of you guys, it's, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. See what happens when it's almost your birthday? <laughs> LOL. Um. For some of you guys, you're so focused on, like, okay, so it's like, how can I say it? It's like, because your love life is failing and nothing's moving forward or going on, it's like you're focusing on a past situation. And you're like, well, at least when I was with them or at least when I was talking to them, like, don't focus it on that. If, if, if you think about this person and you're like, oh, yeah, well, at least the sex was good or at least when we was together, then it's like, get that off your mind. Because it's like, you have to ask yourself, like, like is it really worth it? You know, like, do you really want new love or do you want to just settle? Like, whoever this is, they, they had, had you in some type of mental prison, okay? Whoever this person is. So, let's see, let's see what this, let's see what the energy is with the romance angels. Let's see, head of swords. Give your relationship a chance, see? So, some of you guys are still wanting to work things out with someone. And we have let go of control issues, see? It's constantly on your mind and you guys are needing to get out of this mental prison that you're in. And you need to just go with the flow. Like, but I told you, once you get this person off your mind, see, look, you guys can't even flirt. You guys aren't even allowing yourselves to flirt because you're still dealing with an ex, wanting to be with an ex. You need to release their energy, okay? When I see that card, it's not saying you need to, for some of you guys, you don't need to let them go fully. You need to let the energy go of this person, like the situation, like just release it, you know? Um... So that new energy can shift in between you guys. So we have give your relationship a chance to work on your partnership. So see, five of pentacles. Yeah, this was a breakup or something happened that hurt you and you can't seem to let it go. But at the same time, it's like you want to be with this person. This person is constantly on your mind. But then you guys are trying to manifest in new love. Some of you guys are trying to manifest someone that hurt you to come back. But you want them to come back as different or change. You, you've been kind of sad or depressed about it. And it's like you want them to come back different with the star. You're like, oh, I hope they come back change. I hope they change their ways. I hope they change how they were. You know, like you've been manifesting for this person. Um, like, you know, like you've been just praying for them, manifesting, for, you know, you know, and wanting them to come back towards you. But you want them to come back different. For others of you, it's like you're manifesting new love. So let's see. Why is this good wands here? Let's see. Separation. See, yeah, some of you guys are trying to come out of separation with someone. You want to come out of separation with them. Let's see. See, yeah, four of pentacles. See, you want to come out of separation. Some of you guys feel like this relationship is worth holding on to. Okay? Um, let's see why the star is here. Or they may feel like this, but this is what's coming towards you over the weekend. In love. Love yourself first. See, there's some healing that needs to be done. So it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, and that's you getting your mind off this person, not focusing so much of your energy on that person, releasing the stress and the burdens, the queen of cups, loving you, loving yourself first. You know, it's like, I feel like if this person comes back right now, then I feel like it's, it's I feel like they may have a little bit of power. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it's like, if the love yourself first card is coming out, then it's like you, like they, they may feel like they like, oh, okay, well, like this person's codependent on me. This person still loves me. They're still open. They still care. It's like. Loving yourself first is going to help you attract them back faster or on a different energy or it's going to, new love is going to come in. Let's see, love yourself first. Look, so the emperor is here. For some of you guys, it's like you're loving yourself first and you are definitely attracting new love and you're attracting an emperor. Okay, for some of you guys, that can be your divine masculine coming back around or that can just be someone that you were committed to. This was at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffled, so calling in your soulmate. So let's see, why is the emperor here? Look, six of cups. For some of you guys, this is you guys re reconnecting with your divine masculine or reconnecting with, um, you know, like a soulmate. Or this is telling me by you guys letting something go and accepting a situation for what it is and loving yourself first, okay, and moving forward and not staying stuck and holding on to a situation. You've manifested your emperor, the person that's really going to commit to you and offer you a stable, committed relationship, all right? So...
I'm, I'm loving that. Um, let's see what this Empress energy is with the Romance Angels, and then we'll move forward. Let's see. What is this Empress energy? What's the Empress energy? Make the effort. See? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And then we have this can be the one. Okay? You deserve love, honeymoon, and wedding. So what this is telling me, like I said, two different things I'm seeing, guys. Make the effort. This can be someone coming back, stepping their game up, and you manifest that they'll come back, and you were hoping that they change and they're going to be better and with the star they are. For others of you making the effort, this is someone that's going to come into their life and they're proving themselves to you, okay? Meaning that they're going to show you in different ways that they, they want to be with you, okay? They feel like you can be the one, okay? They feel as if you deserve love. The honeymoon is telling me that things will go to the next level, okay? Engagement, marriage, stuff like that because we have the marriage card, okay? Um, and there's a lot of attraction here, all righty? So... Let's just kind of clarify these really quick and see. We have make the effort. Let's see, make the effort. We have a magician in reverse, okay? So with the magician coming up in reverse, someone wasn't being honest in how they felt. Because sometimes a magician could be holding back his feelings because he's in reverse, so he's keeping things to himself, okay? Um, with the seven of wands, see? This is someone trying to control or fight their feelings towards you. But now I feel like they can't do that anymore. And they're going to make the effort. See, justice. That's the only way they're, they're going to be able to fix or correct things or, you know, to get justice in the situation. Not saying that if they open up to you, they're going to just, you know, automatically win you back. But there's something that needs to happen on an emotional level where they need to open up to you or they need to make the effort. And it has to do with their emotions or feelings with the magician. The magician reverse can be stubborn. It can be someone that's stuck in their ways. Someone that is like, um, they don't want to open up and express and tell you how they feel. You know, or this is someone that is like, oh, let's have a heart to heart conversation. Let's talk. And you do all the talking and they're just sitting there with their arms folded and they're not saying nothing. Then you get mad and you get pissed because you didn't talk for like 30 minutes to an hour and they still haven't told you how they felt. Okay. And that's because they're trying to fight their feelings, but they can't do that anymore. Now, if this is new love coming in, they're telling you to stop fighting it. And if this person is trying to prove themselves to you, let this person prove themselves to you. Don't, don't be like, oh, why are you trying to do this? Why are you trying to buy that? Why are you being nice to me? Why are you doing this for me? Don't do that. Put your guards down. Don't be so aggressive. Don't be so, you know, argumentative, quick to argue, fight with this person. You're, you're really at justice in this situation, okay? So, um, yeah, so let's see why this can be the one is here. Ace of Swords. So for some of you guys, you already know that this person is a one or that you that this person could be the one. You, are, you already know that or you guys are going to gain clarity on that. For some of you guys, this is like a victory in love and you're going to be excited, okay? Next, we have you deserve love, you are lovable, and we have the strength card reverse, okay? So you doubt that for some of you guys. I don't like that. When I see the strength card reverse, it is Leo energy, okay? We are Leo season, Um and I don't like that because I can be like that sometimes. Like with the shame card universe, you deserve love. This is telling me like you're just like you doubt it. You're just like you want love, but then you're just like no one loves me. No one's gonna ever come in. Like you know, like this is you just just doubting it. Like you know, just not like how can I say it? It's like um, I feel like you're doubting it only because you've been through so much in love. Because when you when you the shame card is in reverse, it's so drained, depleted. Someone that's just giving up, like. I have no fight left and I'm not going to, you know, fight. I'm drained, you know, but it's like this person feels like you deserve love and it's like you kind of doubt them. You kind of doubt the situation or the connection or whatever is going on between you guys. See the king of pentacles in reverse. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn, could be a Leo, but I feel like, or I feel like the, the partners that you had or met or people that you met, they didn't want commitment or they didn't want the same thing as you and you just kind of doubt it. But we have the king of swords here, someone that sees a future with you, someone that's coming into your life that's honest. Okay, and it could be this King of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe, maybe they got, maybe they're thinking different, thinking clearly now. Maybe things have changed with them. Let's see what this um, King of Pentacles is all about. The Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, this person had a. For some of you guys, someone had to walk away from you to get themselves together emotionally, to release some type of emotional baggage, to figure themselves out. You know, um, they had to go on an emotional journey. So it's like, it's good that they did that because they, they are getting out of their old ways. They are changing as the King of Pentacles reverse to the King of Swords. They're thinking a lot clearly. They know what they want. They're fo 
focus on the future. We have the Ace of Swords here, the King of Swords here with the Ten of Cups. And then for others of you, this person is coming into your life being honest, but you doubt them. What they're saying to you is honest and it's truthful. They really do like you. They want to give you love or like they're trying to show or prove their love to you in certain ways, but you doubt it. And I feel like it's just due to your past relationships. You're just like, nope, this person isn't going to commit. Nope, I don't. This person's not going to do this. They're not going to do that. So you're just doubting it, okay? So don't don't doubt this person with the hangman. I'm not the hangman. I'm see. I'm talking about the hangman. Um, with the honeymoon card. Look, the empress, and there goes your emperor. So I'm done, guys. Okay. For some of you guys, you guys are divine feminines. Your divine masculine is coming back, and things are changing. Now, do keep in mind that we embody both divine masculine and divine feminine energy. So this can be you. Maybe you're in divine masculine energy, and you're needing to change, or you're going through this. And you're coming back, you know, and you can be a female, okay? And maybe your masculine needed to heal their feminine energy. Who knows? It can be either way. But with the honeymoon and the empress, someone sees you as their future wife, okay? Or I see you guys getting married. Something's happening here, whether this is the past person or the new person. The wedding card is here. Um, this situation involves marriage. The high priestess is in reverse and the two of pentacles is in reverse. Let's see. Um... So with the marriage card, the high priestess in reverse. So someone was holding back their feelings in this relationship, okay? And with the two of pentacles in reverse, there was an imbalance here, okay? Because someone felt as if someone cared for someone or loved someone more in a relationship. And I feel like that wasn't the case. Or it could have been. Who knows? I don't know your situation, okay? This is a past person, this energy. Now, if this is new love, it's like... How can I? Let me break down this two of pentacles in reverse for the new love. Let's see. Two of pentacles. Why is this two of pentacles in reverse? Uh oh. Three of cups. Oh, wow. And the magician. So, right now, I feel like your. I'm not going to say your intuition is blocked, but I feel like right now, you may be, you may not see a future with this person right now. You may really like this new person and you may not see a future with this new person right right now. With and especially with that two of pentacles coming up in reverse. Um, I feel like you're making time, you're putting time in, but I, I just feel like you just don't really see a future with them yet. Like you don't know. I feel like you guys aren't putting expectations out there, or you're not looking or focusing on the outcome, which is good. But whatever it is you're wanting from this person or whatever you've been manifesting, it's gonna come in. Okay, for some of you guys, you guys have a secret engagement coming in over the weekend. So someone's going to engage to you over the weekend. And they could have been acting funny this week or acting weird or you just can't seem to figure them out. And that's what it is. Okay, so it's like someone wants to really surprise you. But it's like the way they're surprising you, it's like they're coming off like nonchalant and kind of different. And then they're just going to like, boom, will you marry me and stuff like that. Okay, so there's a lot going on this week and a lot of, um, a lot of surprises, um, a lot of surprises, happiness, stuff like that over the weekend. So this looks really, 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 really good for the weekend. It's, and then I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to get clarity about certain things. All right. So um, let's pull the energy oracle. All right. Let's see. What is the overall energy for the weekend? What is the overall energy for the weekend? What is the overall energy for the weekend? Overall energy for the weekend. We have patience and we have the door to romance. Love it. And the magician in the mirror. So you guys are really patient, okay? And something is happening. You guys are going through the door to romance. So something is happening in the love department. Something is happening over the weekend. And you guys have been patient and you guys have been waiting for this and it's gonna happen. Something is definitely manifesting, and I love that. 33 breaks down to six. So that's something that's balanced, okay? So that's really, really, really good. Um Loving that. All right. Um, and let's pull a fortune oracle. And then that will be the reading. So it looks like your patience is paying off, guys. And you guys are going to the door of romance. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Let's see. Messages for the weekend. Give me one message for the weekend. Give me one message for the weekend. wish your heart's desire is ready to come true i'm done see look love it so 
wishes coming, a lot of surprises and wishes coming true over the weekend. And then we have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Okay. And we have goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So some of you guys have a diary. Some of you guys may still have a diary with like a locket on it. Okay. Some of you guys are doing a lot of writing. Some of you guys have a lot of change in your purse. Okay. Um, or it's just saying like focus on your goals, guys. All right. Focus on your goals right now or over the weekend. Okay. So it looks like you guys are going to be doing a lot of writing and focusing on your goals and some type of wishes are coming true. I'm loving the energy. So, and I'm not saying it just because it's my birthday weekend, but I'm just saying like the way the cards came out, I'm loving it. Alrighty, so loving it, guys. I love you guys. Thanks for sharing my birthday with me. Um, yeah, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Alrighty, um, sending you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. And again, thank you guys for all the birthday love, wishes, gifts, emails, gift cards, all that good shit. You guys are so bomb. Alrighty, I love you guys. Bye.